Alrighty traders, so hello everybody. So we're going to be focusing on gold and silver today. Also the mining sector today as well too. Because this is something I've been really sort of trying to encourage you guys and show you guys through this process about like what's going on with gold right now, what's happening with silver right now and what to actually expect. So this downturn, this drop we're seeing right now in the gold market uh, is possibly the start of a lot more downside to come. And I believe we've just seen a bit of a false breakout followed by the start of a downturn in gold. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. All right, traders, before we do start, I wanna say that uh, as you may or may not know, I've opened up now uh, my 12 month coaching program, uh, applications to that process. And I've been speaking to a lot of people uh, through people who have been filling out the application form and speaking with them. And it's been such a pleasure and such a joy to be able to speak to you guys and talk to you guys and see how my material and my videos have really, really been guiding you and helping you through this whole process. So um, I just wanted to say that for you guys who have been filling out the form and uh, talking to me and having a good conversation, um, it's really been a pleasure with you. So thank you so much for you know filling out the form and, and the application because a lot of you guys, even if we don't work together as my coaching might not be good fit for you, we're still having really good conversations. So um, so anyway, let's actually get straight into the, the, the actual gold and silver market. Now, traders, one thing that I'm seeing a lot of individuals um, when it comes to the videos that I've been making, especially these last few weeks, right? I've been telling people that you want to be careful because literally one day or one week can wipe out, you know, a whole month. And as you can see, look at this here. This one down day, this one down day here wiped out one, two, three, almost four days. Oh, no, it did actually, yeah. It wiped out almost four days of action in the gold market here. And the one thing, my whole role and my whole job as a coach and my whole role as a as, as an educator for you guys is just to get you guys to, not to try to get out and get in and get out and get in. No, you should have a plan with your own trading, right? But when it comes to the gold market, I've been really talking about like just some simple things about how these markets work and how they operate. And if we just understand about how these markets work and how they operate, then we can, one, we can expect what's to come. And two, when that thing does come, we're not freaked out, we're not getting emotional, we're understanding what's going on. Makes sense? And that's what trading is all about. Yes, trading is about identifying good trading setups, and that's what I teach in my coaching program. You know, I, I teach all that sort of stuff, right? Um, and to guide you and coach you through that. But also, my whole point through these videos that I do for you is to give you some tools and techniques so you can understand what's going on right now, what's likely to come around the corner, right? And then when that thing does start to happen, you're not surprised because you're like, ah, oh, I've been waiting for you. So for example, for the last week, I've been saying, we're probably gonna start a significant, um, a significant drop in the markets or a significant pullback in the markets. Now remember, what is a pullback? A pullback is when we have a strong upward trend, right? A pullback is when we have a strong upward trend from here, right? So strong upward trend and then a pullback. A strong upward trend and a pullback. A strong upward trend and a pullback, right? So that there is what? That there is an upward trend. So we go through these pullbacks, pullbacks, and then pullbacks, right? A pullback is not a change in trend. A pullback is, I call them refueling phases, right? A refueling phase. Um, or an energy building phase, right? We go up for a while, and I call these bits through here energy build, energy using phase. So when the market's moving up or down, it's using energy, right? They're buying it and buying it and buying it. You think of you think of like a like a like a like a trading account, right? You think about it here. What what is it? Trading accounts got to start. The big guys are buying it here, 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 buying. It. Oh, uh oh, we've run out of money. Okay, we, we need to start selling some of this position off down, this position down here. We need to start selling some of that off, some of that off, and then the market comes down. Well, oh, let's actually let's actually refuel our our let's actually refuel our trading account because we just used all our money and buying this up. Now we sell this off. Okay, cool. We've got a bit of funds now. Let's actually start buying it back up, and then they buy it, right? They're buying it and buying it and buying it and buying it. Oh, let's actually start to. So I'm trying to use these analogies analogies for you. 
And one of the simplest things to understand is the flow of how markets work. So you know what's likely to come, right? You know what's, it's not a magic secret source thing. It's a flow of markets. That's what markets do, especially when, when we're in a trending environment. When we're sideways, there is, there's not really that. When we're sideways, we're just doing this sort of action, right? There's nothing really going on. Sideways, no trend. But once we start to develop a trend like we are right now in gold, I'm not calling for a big crash in gold, right? All I'm saying is that we've just had a significant energy using phase. And after every significant energy using phase, we end up going through a good pullback. Remember, this is a weekly chart. So this here was a few months. This one here was about three to four, maybe four months from here. What's that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's about four months of sideways movement. And then guess what? So up and then back down again. Refuel. And then using energy, using energy, using energy. What's probably going to come soon, right? Come back down to here. Get the moving average catching up, right? We're probably now not. We're probably not likely to be doing much now out of gold. Maybe for a couple of months now, right? If the if the whole thing happens here, depending on how that forms, right? But as you can see, whenever we do get too far away from the moving average, whenever and how I know we've actually used too much energy in the energy using phases, right? The energy using phases, energy using phases, energy using phases, energy using phases. How I know is what? We get too far away from the moving average and we end up what? Coming back to it, coming back to it. So what's gonna happen here? Here's the moving average trending up through here. We're either just going to go sideways for a few months or we might get something like that just to reset it and refuel it. So I hope you can see that what's happening today is probably the start of a drop in the market. It's not a complete downturn or big crash or reversal. Yes, we are in a bit of, bit of a bubble territory right now. Um, but a bubble territory doesn't mean it's going to burst and we're going to completely crash. No, right? A bubble territory just simply means we just need to get back into equilibrium here to, to then refuel, reset, and trend. So what we're getting right here on this chart over here, this daily chart, look at this here. Complete and utter false breakout, right? So gold had a false, look at this here, broke to the upside and completely reversed. So what's probably gonna come over the next few weeks? I would say by looking at this level three, I would say we're now likely to start to see something like that soon, um, just because of what I talked about here, just from this weekly chart here, right? So just keep an eye out for that there, guys. That's all I'm, that's all I'm there. I'm, I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to be right or wrong from here. I'm just trying to teach you how markets really operate on the deepest, deepest level. And so therefore you can make some really good trading decisions. And when this drop does come like today, and maybe if it does continue over the course of another couple of months, uh, or at least for another course for a couple of weeks, you're not surprised. You're like, ah. Oh. You're not freaking out because guess what? You're actually, okay, well, I was actually I was actually expecting this to come because that's how markets operate, right? That's how markets work. So if we if we go through to the silver market, look what's happening with silver, right? Silver's having a bit of a drop to the downside, but what's going on with silver? Ah, let's keep it really simple, right? Look what's happening with the moving average, right? Moving average is still trending to the upside. We've had a bit of a drop through here. And we came up and now we're just having a bit of a drop through here. Nothing's really changed yet, not much on silver, because silver, that was the last significant low there on silver. So silver to me could be getting ready for another really big move uh, to the upside soon, but we definitely need to, we definitely need to keep an eye on what's going on here, on, on here with silver, because we did get a breaking above these highs up here, that point through, that point through there. So do we end up coming back down to here and maybe we have something like that coming up where we do come up and bounce through here. So the, the most important thing for me right now is that we, we need to stay we need to stay above this high from here. If we do, then we're probably likely to see a lot more upside to come out of the uh, out of the um, silver market. So there we go, traders. Hope this sort of gives you a bit of a guidance around these markets and some things to keep an eye for. Just guys, this drop in the markets right now we're getting. And even in the stock market, right? You, you're expecting that, right? Like it's, you're expecting a bit of volatility to come right now. And one of the things I've been talking about with my coaching clients is right now, I'm in the seasons of a lot of no's, right? There's a lot of stocks I go through and a lot of things I go through right now. And most things I'm like, no, 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 no. And what do I mean by no, no? I'm What do I mean by no, no is that 
I am not getting into anything, especially right now with the volatility of the election. I am not getting into anything until it's 100% crystal clear that this is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So anyway, traders, if you do need some help, if you have been struggling this year with the market and struggling this year with your own trading, um, then I know my coaching program would be a good fit for you or it might be a good fit for you, right? I don't know. Book a, book a free call with me, guys, and uh, we might we might see that. But I'm opening up spots right now for a whole twelve month coaching program. I only normally have a real small group with me every single year, and so right now I'm opening up uh, just a handful of spots right now to uh, to to for allow people to come in and apply. And again, the application is to basically for me to be coaching you all the time, showing you, just really guiding you for a whole twelve month process. If you are struggling right now, guys, and you really do enjoy my content, then I know that my coaching will definitely help you out, and it actually and it may be a good fit for you. I don't know. So, actually, why don't why don't you just book a book a book a call with me? I uh, use the link the link in the description there, guys, and I look forward to speaking to you real real soon.